today we are going to multiply 41 times 37 using the frequency domain with fast Fourier transforms. For very large numbers, this method is ideal. For small numbers, it is not. However, it shows the steps and the procedure more clearly. First, we will convert our numbers into a polynomial time domain representation. We will take fast Fourier transforms of our time domain signals. We will point pointwise multiply our two frequency domains together to create one resulting frequency domain. We will inverse fast Fourier transform that frequency domain back to the time domain. And once we re-represent it in its numerical form and normalize, we will have our answer to 41 times 37. Step one is to express in polynomial time domain form. Here, the first element represents the ones column, second, tens, hundreds, thousands. Same over here, ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. So 40 plus one is 41. 30 plus seven is 37. Now we must take the fast Fourier transforms of each of these time signals separately. Periodically decimate. Conjugate our smaller time signals. This is the discrete Fourier transform. 1 plus 0, 1 minus 0, again, again. Now we must shift our odd frequency domains such they are in the same frame of reference as our even frequency domains. We will do so by multiplying by a half cycle per second complex sinusoid. Now we will build our four-point frequency domain by conjugating our two smaller frequency domains. Plus plus, minus minus. Same over here. Plus plus, minus minus. Now that we have our two frequency domains, this one for the number 41, this one for the number 37, we are going to pointwise multiply them. And we will yield 5 times 10 is 50. 1 plus 4i times 7 plus 3i is negative 5 plus 31i. Negative 3 times 4 is 12, negative 12. And our final one is negative 1, negative 5 minus 31i. This is our resulting frequency domain. All we have to do is inverse it back to the time domain. The steps are just like we came in, except instead of multiplying the odds by a complex positive half cycle per second, complex sinusoid, we are going to multiply it by a negative half cycle per second complex sinusoid. Decimate. Conjugate. 50 minus 12. 50 minus negative 12. Conjugate. 
conjugate. Negative 5 minus 5 is negative 10. These cancel. Second one, subtract. Um, negative 5 plus 5 is 0. Those cancel, and the imaginary stay. So... negative half cycle per second. Twiddle factor, shift it into the even frame of view. And conjugate those two. 38 minus 10 is 28, 62 plus 62 is 124. 38 plus 10 is 48, 62 minus 62 is 0. Now, we just need to re-represent in its numerical representation. 48, 0, 0. 1, 2, 4, 0, 28. Add these. divide by our sample size, which is 4. <laughs> 41 times 37 equals 1517.